All right, guys, I'm Miles Abbott, and welcome back to episode six of the Barrow Youth Academy Road to Glory. In this episode, guys, we are going to be taking on Leighton Orient straight up, and we're going to jump straight into this one so we can get through as many games as we can in this episode. Here we go, let's jump in straight into this one. Our first game against Leighton Orient. Hopefully, we can get three points here. I have shuffled the squad about a little bit because of fitness, but hopefully we can get a win. We've put Pavlenko back in the starting lineup. He has been out for quite a while. To Pratula. Pratula plays Romalo in. Then into Prickard. Beautiful counter attacking football. Can he bury it? And he does. We are 1 0 up in the 55th minute against runner play, but I'll take it. Prickard with the first goal of the season. It was beautiful play, beautiful football from the corner. We managed to counter attack and nick a 1 0 lead. Tom Prickard. Tulio carry it. Put it out for cross. He's done brilliant down this left hand side. Can cross do a lovely cross. Prickard on the end. Oh, it's 2 0. 62 minute Prickard again. What a. Absolute ball into the box from Cross and Prickard with an unbelievable finish past their keeper. It makes us 2 0 up against Leighton Orient. What an outstanding finish. Let's watch this back. Cross delivers a lovely ball into the box and Prickard on the volley with his left foot to bump past the keeper. Tom Prickard, 63rd minute. Bandura is carrying the ball. Oh, Prickard's in again. Into Pavlenko. 3 0 Pavlenko. It was a new, but you've got to do what you've got to do to pick up these points. Easy win. All started from Prickard. Prickard not being selfish on a hat trick. Plays it into Pavlenko. Pavlenko could not miss that opportunity. And we're 3 0 up. Round the back. Can he finish it? To make it 4-0. Oh, he puts it wide. No way. I thought that was in. I was celebrating before I realised it went wide. How has he not buried that? Wow. Barely. Could have made it. Played outstanding. No, so he probably will keep his place in the squad for the time being. And that is it, guys. A 3-0 victory against Leighton Orient. So this is our second game of this episode, guys. And we are away against Oldham Athletic. Hopefully we can get a win. They are 10th in the table, I do believe. Um, we have actually officially moved out of the relegation zone. We are up to 19th on 14 points, guys. This is absolutely brilliant from picking these crucial points up. Hopefully we can pick up another three points today against Oldham Athletic. Let's get right into this one. Here we go. Has got three goals in his last of three games. Danny Rowe for Oldham Athletic. Can we shut him out today? Can our defence do it? Can Forsell and Bendura do it? I have dropped a Robinson to give him a rest. Um, because our players are starting to get a little tired. We've took both of our wingers off and brought on different wingers as well to start off. If we need to bring them on, we'll bring them on at half time. But I thought I'd give them the chance to see how we do in this first half, guys. <laughs> so here we go. Brought Hamid back into the lineup. Our normal two strikers as of late. Takaku, uh, our number eight. And Hamed, our number 15. Lovely little ball of play. Zen, can he hit it? Oh, and he puts it wide. We need to be finishing these. How close was it, Zen? Oh, it wasn't too far away. But that's the first opportunity of this match. Hopefully many more to come. Rudenko stepping up the pitch. Oh. No, he's given a penalty. Rudenko. No. Not red. I don't think it's any card. He was unfortunate there. The ball had gone. Callum Rowe. Is he going to bury this? Jäger. Jäger with a brilliant stop. This is why he is in goal. And he will probably be in goal for a long time, guys. Uh, he is outstanding. He's only 60 rated as well, but he is growing, so that is good. And we give David Wheater the opening header. Absolute free header in the box there. What were we thinking? Oldham 1, Barrow 0. 
come on, we need to step this up. We, we had a good first half an hour in this game. And now all of them have just absolutely done us a new one there. What forward? Can he do anything with this? Into Savchenko. Savchenko buries that. 1-1 one, one against Oldham Athletic. Brilliant run from midfield. Savchenko, this is what I like about him. He's not the highest rated midfielder that we've got in this team, but he makes them forward darts and forward runs, drags a defender different ways to create the space. This is why he stays in my starting team for quite a while. Look at this. He just makes a beautiful run down the middle and boom, for 1-0. He's actually scored quite a few goals from there, to be fair. He's got two goals this season in the league. But that is 1-1, one, one, guys. Hopefully, we can maybe grab another one. Oh, no. Oh, David's through. Can he finish it? Yes! Super sub. That is what we bring him on for. Our two strikers. David doesn't make the starting 11s, but he comes on and finishes like that. 2-1 up against Oldham Athletic. That should probably seal the win last minute. Hopefully we can hold on now for the last five minutes. Brilliant goal from Nazar Davidovic. Absolutely brilliant. It was a bit fluke to get the ball, but... Ball. Oh, Jaeger's won that. That should be it. Is it? Yes, it is, guys. We pick up another three points away from home. We are starting to climb this table now. We are in 19th. Let's see where we are after this result. Our third game of this episode, guys, we are at home against Bolton, who are sitting eighth in the table. So hopefully, if we can pick up another three points here, it will be three wins in this episode already. We, it's not been done before. Hopefully, we can do it here. And yeah, let's do this. Let's get straight into it. He is our centre forward and he, he does well. Hopefully him and Prickard today can grab some goals. We've got fully fit wingers, so hopefully Bailey can make some decent runs as well. So, no. Oh, one nil down against Bolton. That was sloppy defending. And Sean Miller gets the goal against us. Hopefully, though, we can turn this around quickly and sufficiently. Here we go. Demery is playing in at left back side. A wide cross. Beautiful cross. Go on, cross. Nice cross into the box. Chikachu is there. We equalise straight away. We respond in how we wanted to. It's 1 1. Come on. Come on, you bluebirds. Come on. A beautiful cross from cross. And Takachu is on the end there to make it 1-1. One, one. He's in some fire form, Andre Takachu. Six goals in League 2. He's probably our highest scoring player, actually, for Barrow FC so far. But what can Bolton do here? Brilliant from Rudenko. Oh, no, what a scruffy goal. Darcy makes it 2-1 to Bolton. Absolutely terrible defending. Rudenko did brilliantly well to get a block on it. And they still managed to get it in with Darcy. But here we are with Prickard out wide to Bailey. Bailey brilliantly does well. Can Prickard do the right? Oh, Savchenko. Yes. <laughs> 2-2, two, two, right on half time. Savchenko steps up again from the midfield and drills it to the top right-hand corner. What a brilliant strike. And now it's 2-2. Two, two. Let's watch this again. Brilliant thumping strike. Wumpf. You're not saving that. Savchenko's on the score sheet again. Pass into David. Where's the runners? Pratula straight down the centre. Finish it. We've done it! 3 2 in the 79th minute. Our substitutes come up trumps uh, once again. Absolutely brilliant. 
Every sub we make lately they seem to have an impact and Petula has done just that with a brilliant strike to make it 3-2 to Barrow. Just need to try and close it out with 10 minutes left to play. Not do anything any stupid, even if we can try and kill this game off and get a third. I mean, into Bailey. Bailey into Prickard. Brilliant turn from Prickard. Oh. Oh, Prickard should have finished that. We get a corner, though. I feel like a fourth goal is coming. <laughs> Denko gets it in the 89th minute. 4 2. What a brilliant header from Rodenko. I think that must be his first goal for the club. It was coming. He's always in and around that box area. Brilliant header into the ground. And the just Bolton defenders couldn't do nothing about it. Absolute brilliant. It is going down as an own goal. Harry Brockbank. But it was going in the back of the net anyway. So I'll give Rodenko the credit he deserves. But it's 4-2. And that is it, guys. A 4-2 victory over Bolton Wanderers. Okay, guys, before we head into this last game of this episode against Grisby Town, we are going to do a press conference to get our team morale up there the best we can. We haven't actually done one yet. So the recent run has put you in good position to stay clear of the relegation places. Will your squad be big enough to keep the trouble? Ah, is the squad big enough? Mm, I can't predict what will happen. Everybody's going to play their part, and it's simple as that. We all will play our part. Um, last time out, no. Will your last win have the opposition worried? Mm, the lads are in great form. We've won three out of three now, so we're playing some nice football. So I'm going to say that. Uh, why has the team been struggling? Uh, it's hard to be sure we've been off the I have to take some of the blame it's sim I do, we've brought in new players new youth academy and they, they weren't up to it to start with but we are there now but anyway guys, what we'll do is we'll jump into this last game against Grimsby Town and hopefully see how we get on Bowers, but either way we want to come away with three points, nothing else hopefully we can do that as well Got a strong squad, our fitness are right up there now. Plays a ball into Andre, out wide to Bailey, can barely finish it. And he does, what a brilliant play in the first half an hour. Bailey has made it 1-0 to Barrow FC. Brilliant football. From one side to another, Ethan Bailey gets the first goal of the game. On his own, can he defend this? 2v1, he goes for the back post. Oh, Njega's so unlucky. It's a 1-1. What a game this has turned out to be. Matt Green makes it 1-1. Oh, they're playing beautiful. This is going to be 2-1. And it is. <sighs> Matt Green makes it 2-1 to Grimsby Town. We've got some work on our hands to try and come back from this. We need to start now, though. Might have to bring some subs on. Our super subs normally do pretty well when they come on. That is going to be it, guys. A 2-1 loss to Grimsby Town to finish out this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here on the road to 100 subscribers. And turn post notifications on so you do not miss one episode. These are coming at you daily, guys. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next episode.